Good morning children. Now you know about whole numbers and some of the properties related to multiplication of whole numbers which are closure property and commutative property. So let us see the associative property and the multiplicative identity with relation to multiplication of whole numbers. What is the volume of the soap box? Here the height is 3 units, the length is 5 units and the width is 2 units. We know the formula for volume. It is equal to length multiplied by width multiplied by height. So to get the volume we need to multiply these three whole numbers and this is the way Aman did it. He multiplied 2 and 3 first then he multiplied 5. So he did 2 multiplied by 3 in brackets as this was done first then by 5. So 2 into 3 is 6 multiplied by 5 and the answer is equal to 30. And this is the way Kushi did it. She multiplied 3 and 5 first. So 2 multiplied by 3 and 5 in brackets as this operation was done first. So this is equal to 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 is equal to 15. So it becomes 2 multiplied by 15 and the answer is equal to 30. So Kushi got the answer as 30. There is one more way to multiply these three numbers. First we will multiply 2 and 5 then we will multiply it by 3. So this becomes 3 multiplied by 2 and 5. We do this operation first. So 3 multiplied by 2 into 5 is equal to 10 and then we do 3 multiplied by 10 so the answer becomes 30. What do we see? In all the three cases whichever grouping we did of two whole numbers the answer is same which is 30. So what is the volume? The volume is equal to 30 cubic units. So what did we see? When we multiply the three whole numbers we can group any two numbers for multiplication but the answer is always same like here we grouped 2 and 3 first so 2 into 3 then multiplied by 5 the other way was we group 3 and 5 first and do their multiplication so 2 into 3 into 5 and the other way was we group 2 and 5 and it becomes 3 multiplied by 2 and 5. In all the cases what do we see? The answer is same which is 30. So what do we learn from this? In multiplying whole numbers the product doesn't change even if the grouping is changed. And what is this called? This is called associative property of multiplication. So when we are multiplying three or more numbers even if we change the grouping for multiplication the product is always same. Now let us figure out which is this number 5 multiplied by this number it is equal to 5 which means the whole number is unchanged by multiplication of this number. Also when this number is multiplied by 3 the answer is same which is 3. So again the whole number is unchanged. Can you guess which is this number? Yes it is 1. So 5 multiplied by 1 gives us 5 and 1 multiplied by 3 gives us 3. So 1 is such number which is used for multiplication and the result is the same number or you can say the result is unchanged. So multiplying 1 
results in the same number. What can we say? When we multiply any number by 1, the number remains unchanged, which means the product is the number itself. So, we can say 1 is the multiplicative identity for whole numbers because when any number multiplied by 1, the answer remains unchanged, meaning the number remains unchanged. So, let us see what all we learned today. In multiplication of whole numbers, the product doesn't change even if the grouping is changed and this is associative property of multiplication of whole numbers. For example, 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 4 is same as 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 4 which is same as 2 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3 and this is equal to 24. So here we change the grouping. Here we group 2 and 3 and multiply it first. Here we group 3 and 4 and multiply them first. Here we group 2 and 4 and in all of these cases the answer is same which is 24. So now you know what is associative property and what is multiplicative identity of whole numbers. That's all for now. Bye-bye children.